everybody's been so amped up about every little development that's been happening with you and the band, you know, especially starting off at the 2012 Carolina Rebellion, you went up and you played blind with them. And from then on, you know, it's just been tease after tease after tease a little bit. You know, now you're going to play with them on Rock on the Range this year. You're mm -hmm. going to Europe with them. People are really pumped. So I just have to ask, is there a possibility that you will once again be a permanent member of Korn? Um, well, here's the thing. We're not really, we're not trying to tease. Like, it's really a sensitive thing. Okay. And, and it's seriously like, we're taking it slow. So it's not like we're trying to go, hey, man, let's get just do this and da 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 da. Um, it really is like, you know, we're getting together and we're, we're hanging out. We're talking about playing shows. And I'm just saying anything's possible right now. But at the same time, I haven't been on the road with them. And I think Monkey did an interview not too long ago where he's like, you know, we got, we got to be around each other every day and just like, get, as far as right now, it's all good. It's all good, and and I've never seen my family so positive and healthy and happy. There's no drama, there's no fighting from what I've seen. The little I've been around them, and so I'd say anything's possible. And we're talking, and so uh, we'll see what happens. You know, I'd love to do Love and Death. You know, even if that did happen in Corn, I would. You know, I, I Love and Death is like my my whole project to. Uh, to just to get the what's what's in my soul out, you know, into words and stuff. So I'd I'd love to always do that, but um, but the corn thing, man, it's just I love those guys and just connecting with the fans again. It's just like it's so cool to feel so welcome, you know. Do you hope Head will join the band again? And he said, "Yes, that's the hope. Uh, that's the optimism of this." but we do one thing at a time and see how it develops and then talk about it. So is it fair to say that you, uh, when you're playing these shows, that's going to be the event and then the talk will happen sometime after that? I think so. I mean, we're talking about a lot of stuff right now, you know, and it's like, and, and uh, it's just like friends back, you know, together. That's the main thing right now. And it's like, yeah, I think it would be, you know, a, a, something that that we would know, like maybe in the fall or something like that. Yeah. But um, but again, we're not trying to like pull any tricks. We're just we're just going slow because it's been so long and I've been busy, you know. So we just gotta we gotta get together more, you know. With Monkey being very direct in his answer to us, um, have there been any other full-time corn members right now who have been that direct in saying, you know, we would like you to, to play with us more. We'd like you to possibly rejoin the band permanently at some point. I did a show in Bakersfield, California, and Jonathan, I hadn't seen him since I was on stage with him in 2004. I hadn't seen him. I talked to him on the phone once or twice when he almost died from the, in, in, uh, or uh, he got really sick in uh, 2006 in England or whatever. And so I talked to him like one other time besides that. And the the dude called me and said, hey, Jonathan's coming. He's bringing his sister and his wife. And I was like, what? This little Bakersfield show? And I hadn't seen him in years. And I was all nervous and like just like, you know. But I afterwards, he watched the show and come, come came and hang out, hung out with me. And, uh, and... He drug me to the corn studio, and he was telling me he was like, "Man, he said we gotta get we gotta get you back, man." And so he was, he was saying some stuff there, and you know, at that point, I was just like, I didn't, I just loved my my friends, you know, and I was doing my own thing, and I I really didn't have no interest to be in a big band anymore because there's a lot of like, it's a lot of pressure when you're in a big band, you know, and it's like a lot of touring, and it's just. It's just on a bigger level, and there's a lot of there's a, there's just a lot of uh, anxiety and stuff sometimes that goes with it. And I just don't didn't know if I wanted that. But after the rebellion, the Carolina Rebellion thing, and it's just like the time. It's like something dropped in my lap and said, you know, it's time, you know. And so, and Fieldy actually came to talk to me about 
he would love to have me back too. So yeah, all of them expressed it. You know, it took Monkey the longest, I think, but you know, I think him and me were just like, you know, he left. Like Monkey's like he left. You know, he's doing his own thing, and I was like, yeah, I left, and just was leave it at that. It's been so long, but but you know, hearts change, and reconciliation is is now, and it feels good. <laughs> 